Hello, boys and girls. Pinchas the Pirate and brr, it's freezing. I'm outside just after a winter storm. So I don't have much time. I got to get back to picking up all the snow and ice from around my ship to try and set sail again and be at my next port before Shabbos comes. But I wanted to take a quick minute to tell you about something special this weekend. This weekend, not only is it a double Parsha, that means we read two Parshios in Shul from the Sefer Torah about the Mishkan, the tabernacle being built, but we also take out an additional Torah and read the special, one of the four special Parshios that we've talked about before. This week is Parshas Para. Holy cow! Haha, <laughs> just kidding. But see what I did there? Para means cow. We read the special portion about the para aduma, the red cow. And that's because this was a special cow that had to be completely red. No other color hairs, not even more than two black hairs were allowed to be found on it in order for it to be used. And this animal was used as a carbon in order to make pure those people that had been tame, impure, because they were dealing with people who had passed away. For example, the people that carried the bones of Yosef out of Mitzrayim when we left Egypt, they were Tomei because they were dealing with the mitzvah of carrying the bones of Yosef to be buried. So they needed to become pure in order to... Ah, da, da, da. The reason that we read this special parsha before Pesach is because we have to get holy and pure in order to bring the carbon Pesach. That's right, Pesach's coming. And I've been super busy cleaning up my ship and getting ready for the Yom Tov. Now, boys and girls, can you think of something you can do to help your parents in this very stressful time before Pesach to get ready? You can clean. You can think of all the places in your houses or your rooms that you might have hidden your candy, especially left over from Purim, and you can tell your parents to put it away and keep it for you for after Pesach. This way, you can help and do your part to get ready for Pesach. And as we get closer, Pinchas the Pyre will tell you all about other ways that you can help get ready for Pesach and the special mitzvahs that we do on Pesach and all about the holiday. So for now, Pinchas the Pirate, gotta go warm up by the fireplace. Getting ready for Shabbos from Pinchas the Pirate and all my crew. Shabbat Shalom and Toodaloo. It's Pinchas the Pirate coming to you. And bringing you mitzvot and Jewish values. Shabbat Shalom and Toodaloo. The wittiest, funniest pirate on YouTube. Pinch us the pirate, here we go. Yeah, pinch us the pirate, oh.